if you remember in the last video, um, we dumped um, all our air, fo air float um, ingredients into our ball mill container, which were 55 grams of potassium nitrate, 33 grams of air float charcoal pine, 7 grams of sulfur and 5 grams of dextrin. We ball milled it for a good, I ball milled mine for a good 5 hours and it's very, very good. And I'll just show you the cons... Well, I won't. Anyway, what we need to do now... Okay, if you remember, if you remember in our last video on the chrysanthemum 6 cut stars, we dumped 55 grams of potassium nitrate, 33 grams of um, pine air float charcoal, 7 grams of sulfur and 5 grams of dextrin. We bunged it all in the uh, um, ball mill container. We ball milled it for a good 5 hours and now we're going to actually finish doing the stars. So what you're going to need is obviously the stuff that you've ball milled. You're going to need your aluminium foil or tin foil. You don't need much, just about, that's about, not, it's a bit smaller than an A4 piece of paper. Um, so you need that, you need your spoon, you need your ruler, you need your gloves, I'm using disposable gloves, you need your mask, you need your screen, I'm using a kitchen sieve with quite fine holes from um, Asda, and you need your two buckets or containers, I'm using my normal small bowl and large bowl and you're going to need your alcohol and your 25% alcohol and 75% water mix in a fine spray. Okay, once you put on your gloves and mask you want to separate all the black all the powder from push 
see if we can see it. When you push down, in with your thumb, it'll leave a nice indentation and it'll just start to crack around the edge. Okay, I'll get you a square of paper. Like I say, you don't need masses. And just bang it on and press it down. Don't worry if it cracks because you can reform it. Basically, all you, want, all you basically want to do is you want to make a cow pattern. That's all you want to do. You want to make a nice cow pattern. Okay, now the, the thinner you press it, the easier it is to work because if at first it'll seem like the whole thing is cracking up and you just waste your time. But when it gets a little bit thinner, it'll get easier because the moisture will start, whatever moisture there is, will start coming to the top. It'll be a lot easier. And another good technique that I do, let me show you, zoom in. Okay, what I do with me, sometimes it's really hard pushing. I just get me fist on it. I don't know if you can see that. My fist on it like that and just roll it, almost like a, almost like a rolling pin. Use me, use me knuckles. And it gets right down in there. Okay, I think I'm done at this end. Just neaten up the edges, push all the edges together. Okay, at this stage you want to cut them into nice even squares. As I'm doing half a centimetre squares. Place this edgy ruler and push down. Back, push down and so on until you're done. So you're going from one side right to the other. Okay, now I've gone all that way. Don't worry, don't worry if it ruffles up in the middle. And just turn it round and do exactly the same on the other side. Just like that. Okay, now when you've done them, it should look something like that. Nice, even squares. Okay, now bung, when you've done this, bung it all, bung it in your conservatory or in a windowsill, in a nice, you know, nice sunny environment, and then leave them a good couple of days. And when they're nice and hard, just break them up. You don't need to prime these. Just take the whole thing, including the aluminium foil, put it in, in a nice sunny place. Like I say, dry. When they're dry, break them up into squares and put them in your bag with a couple of desiccant gel bags in there. You don't need to prime these because it's a black it's effectively it's a black powder mix. Okay, cheers.